Welcome back once again friend. Again we're going to solve some problem from the application of trigonometry. I have been asked a question from Alpha Ali Khan from Norway. A very wonderful question and it's really important. I really want to uh, make you focus here. Let me read the question. Question is saying a 50 meter vertical pole is to be erected on the side of the sloping hill that makes a 8 degree angle with the horizontal. Okay. So this is the horizontal line. All right. And this is the, this is the, uh, the slope of the hill. All right. And there we're going to rise a, a tower, let's say, all right, as they are saying, uh, a vertical pole or a tower, whatever you say. This is having 50 meter, you know, uh, it's centimeter or meter, mm, what is written here, meter. So, and find the length of the, each of the two supporting wires, X and Y, respectively, you can see here, here is X and here is Y. We need to find out the length of this X and Y that will be anchored uh, 35 meter uphill and downhill from the base of the pole. Okay, so this is 35 meter. And this is also 35 meters. So we need to find out the length of now X and Y. So pause the video and move your brain for a while. And let's see how we're going to solve it. Well, I thought about this to solve. I just find out a trick to solve this question. To solve this question, we need to apply a little trick here. And the trick is we have here a deg 8 degree the angle. All right. And the same thing what I'm going to do here. I'm going to draw a perpendicular line with the horizontal. All right with the horizontal I'm going to draw a perpendicular line this is my construction all right so this line and this line are parallel I'm drawing construction light it is wrong okay slightly here it is it's a perpendicular line so what are we going to get we are going to get this angle as a 8 degree you know the why we're getting this angle 8 degree because uh, what we have learned that if there is two parallel lines and if there is a line cancelling these two parallel, then alternate interior angles are equal so so here, if you look in the same way, these two are the parallel lines. These two are parallel lines and these two are uh, alternate interior angle, which should be equal. So this is 8 degrees. So this will be also 8 degrees. And now let's take a look a little properly. This is 8 degree and we know this already. This is 35 meter. All right. This is 35 meter. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to name this first. All right. Let's say this is A, this is B and this is C. So in triangle ABC, if you look properly, in triangle ABC, it's a right angle triangle. In the right angle triangle ABC, if you see properly, uh, we're going to take first cosine of 8 degree. And the cosine of 8 degree is the base over the hypotenuse. All right. Because here is the angle. So this is the base and this is the hypotenuse. So cosine of 8 will be AB over BC. And cosine of uh, 8, I can use the calculator. All right, my calculator is showing cosine of 8 degree equals to 0 0.99. It's 0 0.99. And I don't know the, the, the value of AB, so AB as it is. And I know the value of BC, so it's 35. And now, therefore, I'm getting the value of AB as uh, 35 times cosine of 8. Uh, that's giving me 34.65, all right? 34.65 meter. So here, the wonderful news is we got the value of this, and this is 34.65 meter and again I'm using the uh, sine formula in the same figure right sine a degree sine a degree is always perpendicular over the hypotenuse so this is my perpendicular and this is my hypotenuse so it will be AC over the BC and the value of the AC we don't know as it is but we know the value of BC that's 35 so from here from the figure you can easily look that AC is going to be uh, sine 8 degree times 35 meter I'm um, calculator is showing sine 8 times 35 meter uh, equals to 4.87 4.87 meter you can use your calculator and check it out to be sure uh, all right so I found out the value of AC also so we get this as a 4.87 and now we need to do another construction and the next construction is dropping this this pole till here and extending this line here so that we can form here a right angle triangle here it was also right angle triangle and this is also now right angle triangle and my brother and sister if you look very very closely then you will find out now something see these two lines are again parallel all right so if these two lines are parallel then the corresponding angle will be definitely equal all right so this angle is also 8 degree all right and this is here 90 degree keep in mind so take a look very seriously this is 8 degree and 
this is also a degree all right here is angle here is angle all right this is 35 meter this is also 35 meter all right so this is uh, side this is also side and these two are vertically opposite angle these two are vertically opposite angle all right so from there what i can say that triangle uh, let me give some name to this uh let's say this is acb and i'm giving this uh d and i'm giving this e all right so triangle uh triangle e d c all right it's uh, d properly i didn't write e d c i'm talking about the triangle this all right this triangle is congruent to the triangle a b c a b c and now the question comes how it is by angle side angle theorem all right by angle side angle criteria of congruency okay so if these two are congruent then you know that the uh, if uh, the, the the corresponding sides and angles of the uh, of the two corresponding angles uh, two if these two triangles are congruent then we very very well know that the corresponding angles and the sides of the two uh, congruent triangles is always equal so here i will get ed equals to ab equals to uh, the value of ab that is 34.65 similarly i will get this uh, cd equals to ac uh, and that's going to be uh, that's going to be uh, ac is 4.87 so it's going to be 4. 8, 7. this is also meter this is also meter now all the thing is finished now we just have to use the Pythagorean theorem to find out the other stuff now see here now if you look this this triangle properly let me give the name again uh, I'm extending every time the name uh, till E let's say F all right uh, all right so in triangle F a B all right I'm talking about this triangle which I'm coloring with the green color all right f b square that is hypotenuse square is the sum of the square of uh, perpendicular that is a f square and the base that is a b square simple from the pythagorean theorem you know the square of the hypotenuse is always equals to the sum of the square of the base and the perpendicular so from here what i can say that f b square uh, is equals to f a square and f a is f c minus a c whole square and plus a b the value of a b we already find out that is 34.65 34.65 square and now further what is f b you know f b is actually the y so it's going to be y square and f c is 50 you know from here to here it's 50 and a c we just find out that is 4.87 so it's 4.87 whole square plus 34.65 whole square and further y squared is going to be now I'm directly using the calculator because the video is getting so much longer so 50 minus uh, 4.87 that's giving me 45.13 right 45.13 square plus 34.65 square right 34.65 square so finally I'm getting y squared equals to now let me square the 45.13 that's giving me uh, 2036.13 seven one plus uh, 34.65 square that's giving me uh, 1200 1200 point six two two all right so finally y square I'm getting uh, 1200 point six two two plus this uh, 2036.71 2036.71 that's giving me 327 all right 3237 point three three and uh, next time if I want to find out the value of y then I need to do the square root of this so therefore I'm getting square root of this whatever the quantity it is it's 56.89 56.89 uh, meter so here we got one thing asked by the question the value of the this y we get as a 56.89 meter now the same process we're going to apply for the triangle a d f all right in the triangle a d f which should i write it all right in in triangle 
a d f you know again the square of the hypotenuse that is a f square is equals to the sum of the base that is e d square plus the perpendicular that is f c plus c d all right that's f c f c plus c d f c plus c d whole square you can take a look very seriously in the figure right now see a f if you see in the figure a f is actually our x so it's x square and e d you know what is this e d e d we know already uh e d is 34.65 34.65 square and we need now f d f d is actually this 50 meter plus this c d 4.87 so it's uh 50 plus 4.87 whole square x square and now I'm using calculator again 34.65 square that's giving me 1200.622 and now I'm directly squaring a 50 plus 4.87 that sorry 50 plus 4.87 that's 54.87 and I'm squaring 54.87 that's giving me that's giving me 3010.71 all right so x square is getting now uh, I'm adding both of them so together from my calculator it's getting uh, 4211 all right it's getting 4211.33 and therefore x will be under root 4211.33 and that's getting 64. 64.89 meter so we get the value of x also so both the strings length we find out finally it's 64.89 meter we find out the value of x we find out the value of y i hope you understand afra as well as all the friends who watch this video and if there is any more confusion to ask me any doubt to ask me then please feel free to comment below this video definitely i will get back to you and i really appreciate to hear something from your side all right don't forget to like the video and subscribe the channel i'll see you in the next video goodbye